let a1, a2, a3, a4, a5, a6, a1 be a regular hexagon. Write the x components of the vectors. Use the fact that the resultant of these six vectors is 0 to prove that cos 0 plus cos pi by 3 plus cos 2 pi by 3 plus cos 3 pi by 3 plus cos 4 pi by 3 plus cos 5 pi by 3 equal to 0. Use the non cosine values to verify the result. So we are considering a hexagon and a1, a2, a3, a4, a5, a6, a1. This is the name of the hexagon and these all sides are vectors and this angle is 60 degree. Okay, here this is x axis. So this vector is making an angle that angle is given that is 60 degree. This is side 1, this is side 2, this is side 3, side 4, side 5, side 6 and each side is having a length a. The magnitude of the vector is a. Resultant of these vectors, resultant of these six vectors, it is vector r is equal to 0 because it is a it is in a particular shape and all the vectors are in same direction then resultant vector will be 0. Here we need to find the resultant vector in terms of x component and y component. Okay, so first we are considering the side 1. Okay, I am writing it here side 1, side 1. Okay, this side 1 is here this is the x axis and this is y axis. The side 1 is making an angle 0 with x axis. Here you can see that the side 1 is making an angle with angle 0 with x axis. So what will be the x component of this vector? x component equal to it will be a cos 0. What about y component? y component will be a sin 0 side 1 is over okay now we can go for side 2 okay side 2 side 2 is making this is the side making an angle of 60 degree with x axis here you can see that this is x axis and it is making an angle of 60 degree so how to write the x component x component equal to it will be a cos 60 instead of 60 i am writing pi by 3 okay instead of 60 i am writing pi by 3 and y component y component equal to a sin pi by 3 okay now we are checking side 3 this is side 3 okay side side 3 okay x component x component equal to a cos we need to find the angle right this is our x axis here you can see the x axis we need to find this angle we need to know the value of this angle here we know that this angle is 120 degree this angle is 120 degree because it is linear pair if this angle is 120 degree this total angle will be 120 degree okay and this is exactly at the midpoint right this line is splitting this 120 degree into two so this will be 60 degree and this angle will be 120 degree okay so this angle is 120 degree this angle is this angle is 120 degree so what will be the cos component of this one x component it will be a cos 120 i am writing cos component as 2 pi by 3 okay i am writing 120 as 2 pi by 3 2 pi by 3 similarly the y component will be y component equal to a sin 2 pi by 3 okay now side 4 we are reaching side 4 okay in side 4 this is side 4 if i am drawing the x axis it will be the x axis right what is the angle here here we need to find this angle from here this is the positive x axis right this angle is 180 degree so that angle is 180 degree so i can write x component equal to a cos 3 pi by 3 here i am writing 180 as 3 pi by 3 okay and y component y component is equal to a sin 3 pi by 3 okay now side 5 side 5 side 5 now we are going to check side 5 this is side 5 okay i am drawing the x component here i am drawing x axis here this is the x axis okay and we need to find the angle i am extending this vector okay i am extending this vector 
okay we need to find this angle from here to here okay this angle is 180 degree right and we know that this total angle is 120 degree it's a hexagon and all angles are 120 degree right okay and here this line is passing exactly through the midpoint of this angle so this angle will be 60 degree then this angle also 60 degree right opposite pairs okay opposite angles are equal opposite angles are equal so the total angle will be 240 60, 180 plus 60 240 so we can write x component equal to x component we can write x component equal to a cos instead of 240 i am writing 4 pi by 3 and y component y component equal to a sin 4 pi by 3 now side 6 this is side 6 i am drawing the x axis here this is x axis okay this is x axis okay and this we need to find this angle we need to find from positive x axis to here we need to find this angle i am extending this line here also and we know this angle this angle is 60 degree which is given in the question all this angle is 60 degree so here this x axis this is our x axis this is our x axis okay this x axis is making an angle of this from positive side right it is making an angle of this so it is total angle is 360 degree right from there we need to subtract this 60 degree so side 6 is making an angle of 300 degree right so we can write x component equal to x component equal to a cos 5 pi by 3 I am writing the 300 in terms of pi by 3 it is 5 pi by 3 okay and y component y component equal to a sin 5 pi by 3 now we got all the values all x component and we got all y component right now the next step is we know the resultant vector we can express the resultant vector in terms of x component and y component so the resultant vector r equal to we can write x i plus y j right so we are just adding all the x component and we know that resultant vector is zero so it will be x i plus y j right so zero means x component should be zero and y component also should be zero okay that's why we are getting zero resultant vector is zero and x component should be zero y component should be zero then only when we are adding it will be zero okay so we are taking all we are taking all the x component okay it will be zero right zero equal to x component a cos zero right a cos zero plus here x component a cos pi by three plus here x component a cos two pi by three plus here x component a cos 3 pi by 3 plus here x component a cos 4 pi by 3 plus here x component a cos 5 pi by 3 okay the a is common everywhere we can take it out then the result will be cos 0 plus cos pi by 3 plus cos 2 pi by 3 plus cos 3 pi by 3 plus cos 4 pi by 3 plus cos 5 pi by 3 equal to 0 so we have proved it okay if you are giving the value of cos 0 cos pi by 3 cos 2 pi by 3 cos 3 pi by 3 and cos 4 pi by 3 and cos pi by 5 pi by 3 you will get 0 and verify the result using the value of cos 0 cos pi by 3 cos 2 pi by 3 cos 3 pi by 3 cos 4 pi by 3 and cos 5 pi by 3 cos 0 is 1 okay cos pi by 3 cos 60 it is 1 by 2 plus cos 2 pi by 3 it is minus 1 by 2 cos 3 pi by 3 it is minus 1 plus cos 4 pi by 3 it is minus 1 by 2 plus cos 
5 pi by 3 it is minus 1 by 2 okay this one this minus 1 will cancel each other half half will cancel each other half half will cancel each other 0 so LHS equal to RHS hence it is proved resultant vector was 0 and this result is also 0